Code to Prompt is a CLI tool which converts your code base into a single LLM prompt with a source tree, prompt templating, and token counting. In simple words, you can use this tool, Code to Prompt, to convert your code base into a single easy to read LLM prompt which you can use with GPT models or with Anthropics model or any other model easily. As far as I am concerned, I think that you can use this tool to document your code better. So for example, if you have a local Git repo, you can simply run your code to prompt tool on it and it is going to generate a good documentation on the basis of your whole code base. There are various other features of this tool too. For example, you can um, generate the LLM prompt from code base of any size. And then you can also customize this prompt generation with handlebar templates. And it also respects your git ignore file. And you can also filter and exclude files using glob patterns. You can display the token count of generated prompts. Of course, for the speed and for throughput patching cost perspective, this is good. And you can optionally include git diff output in the generated prompt. And git diff output primarily the staged files in your repo. It automatically copies the generated prompt to the clipboard and it saves the generated prompt to an output file. You can also exclude files and folders by name or path and you can add line numbers to source code block. One thing which is really cool about it is that you can customize the prompt template to achieve any of the desired use cases. It essentially traverses the code base and creates a prompt with all source files combined. In short, it automates copy pasting multiple sources files into your prompt and formatting them along with letting you know how many tokens your code consumes. For this video, let's get it installed locally and then see how you can traverse your code base. And I will also drop the link to this GitHub repo in video's description. For the video, I'm really thankful to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and the GPU. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted offering. This is the Ubuntu system which I'm using courtesy to them. And let me also show you the GPU card which I'm using for it. This is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. You really don't need that much vram for this video but of course it's always handy um, if you have a more vram okay so let me clear the screen now this is a rust based tool so you would need to install rust first and in order to install rust on ubuntu all you need to do is to run this command it is going to install it so let me press enter here it is downloading the installer and then just press enter here with a default installation and it should install cargo clippy and a lot of other things with it let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long almost there and because we will be using cargo to get this code to prompt installed so that is why we are installing rust almost there and that is installed let me clear the screen and then you need to either restart your shell or source this environment file so that you would be able to have the rest in your path that is done and you can check the version by simply running the rust c dash dash version and there you go we have this latest version of rust install let me clear the screen and now in order to install this code prompt all you need to do is to run this cargo install code to prompt so it is installing it it is going to take a bit of a time as you can see it is installing a lot of stuff there and i can already see the open AI and dots a lot of libraries which are needed and there are around 212 packages so let's wait for it to get installed and everything is installed now let me clear the screen and let me create a very simple a git project or git repo and then we will use this code to prompt to use on that repo okay so everything is installed now let me quickly show you the version of this code to prompt 
and I have switched to my GUI version of Ubuntu because you will be copy pasting from the clipboard. So I would say that you should do the same. Now this is done. From here, let me clear the screen and let me quickly show you that I just have created this sample git one and I'll just do that. That's my code base which contains the Python file, some data file, the random file. You can just select your own. So this is what I will be using with this code to prompt. So simply run this command with code to prompt by saying code to prompt and then your project path. Press enter, it says prompt copy to clipboard, enter your text file or wherever you want to paste it and there you go. So it is telling me this is my project path, this is my source tree that these files are present in my path and then it is telling me what exactly is within my files. So how good is that? So you see, it has just created the whole structure for your code base. Easy to write. You can use it for documentation. You can use it for understanding your code or anyone else's code. Another cool thing about this code to prompt is that it gives you some templates which you can uh, use to handlebar your code. Handlebar templating or handlebarring the code means that there are few built-in templates which allows you to separate the presentation layer of your application from the business logic. It uses a mustache-like syntax to define templates. Let me actually show you that makes more sense. But for that, you would need to go to their GitHub repo, which you can get the link from video description, clone that repo locally, and then from there, they already have some templates. So you need to run, for example, I'm running here code to prompt utility on my own code base, which is in the my project, all my code, and then slash t is for template. And this is a template which I'm using from their GitHub repo, which I have cloned. It is in the templates directory and the template I'm using is document the code.hbs. So let me run it. It has documented it. Let me open my text editor and I will simply paste it there. There you go. So it has documented it and it has said that I would like I, I would like you to add documentation command to a public function and then it is telling me what needs to be done here. Cool stuff. Okay, now let me show you another template which is uh, quite handy and it primarily finds the security vulnerabilities in your code. So I'm just pasting it here. So you see it's a, another template find security vulnerabilities again paste it let me get it from the clipboard and you see there you go so it is analyzing the code it is telling me all the vulnerabilities here amazing amazing tool and similarly there is another template which you can use for finding the bugs in your code let me clear the screen and then similarly you just Use code to prompt your project and then fix bugs. There you go. Let's go here, see if there are any bugs in my code. And then it's just telling me that there are a few bugs and it is telling me what to do to diagnose, find your potential bugs and all that stuff. So all in all, a real good tool. Let me quickly show you a few of the other templates which they have. So for that, you would need to go to their code to prompt repo then templates directory I do ls here you see these are all the built-in templates you can use uh, cleanup code binary exploitation and I have already shown you a handful of them so I'm very impressed by this uh, tool I think real good tool at first it takes a bit of a time to get used to but once you start using it it becomes easier to use one suggestion I would give you that instead of using the cargo from uh, their latest version, maybe git clone the repo and then use maybe following commands to install it from their GitHub repo, uh, this one. So this is a git clone, then cd to that directory and then build it from here. This is this will pull out the latest release, which, uh, which is less buggy because I have uh, battled a bit with this cargo install. So I would suggest you do this, but uh, even if this should work at the moment which i used anyway all in all a good tool let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching